Okay, I was super excited when I actually got this package from Jingoas and also thank you to Massimo and in general the Italian Jingoas community that actually managed to make this reach to me and now that I have it you can see me actually failing to properly unbox it but then you can actually see that inside of it there's the keyboard and underneath the Jinkpad A1 and I gotta say the boxes are very nice now now they're wrapped in plastic but soon they're going to be you know unwrapped and the material feel like the materials they choose for the box it really makes it feel like very high quality so I was actually rather impressed with also you know the logo with this um, white transparent translucent thingy I like it and then we can see that inside of it there's a uh, wait for it wait for it yes yes a cover with uh, which is the leather cover without the keyboard and again I had to hold it into my hands because it really felt so nice and then of course inside of it there is the tablet with, with the pen I tried to take off the plastic but it took me a couple of tries here it's connected to the cover by a pretty strong magnets now you can see that I'm trying to take off the plastic and when I finally manage to take off, take off all of it I take the tablet into my hands and my first thought was like wow look at this glass bag it, it was really impressive like I've heard positive comments about the tablet but actually holding it into my hands for the first time it was really nice I think the bag with the logo is super cool you can see all the reflections and I really like it then what else is in the box um, also sorry I forgot about that the leather cover has the jing pad logo very faint inside of it there is the pen you can see that well I'm trying to show you how you would use the pen but uh, more seriously you do have a USB type C charger let me focus this and on the other side you also have a button for the eraser which actually works I've tried it and then you also get the brick to actually charge it it comes in the China version uh, you can use any adapter and on the other side you have well first of all the sim thingy to get out your sim and SD card and even though uh, Wi-Fi sorry um, cellular phone is not yet supported you can actually insert your sim and it will recognize it there is some candies for some reason but also the cable which actually connects the tablet and the brick and again let me show you that it is indeed a China uh, version of it then let me actually take this off and switch to the keyboard which I was very curious in taking um, in opening up sorry because it's really I think a very important accessory I was always been a fan of the surface like laptops with the det detachable keyboards so I was really wondering how could this perform for these tasks so you can see he me here again not very <laughs> doing a good job of unboxing you can actually see that I'm not a professional yet but as soon as I actually managed to take this into my hands my first impressions of it were that it actually pretty heavy and thick but uh, because of that it really gives you a nice feeling of being solid and you can open it up take this off inside of it there's a uh, uh, cardboard to uh, make like the width of the thickness sorry of the tablet the materials here are very metal and I think it's a good choice when you actually put inside the tablet it's all metal and it feels really sturdy when it's open you can see that the place where the tablet lies has this um, texture that's very 
um, Alcantara-like. And when you close it up, there's the nice logo. And on the back, you can actually open up. I had to do a couple of guesses to actually find the right spot. The thingy that actually holds old, holds it up to be more like a computer. Now that we've done that, we can actually try to insert the tablet inside of it. I did show you like how open it can get. This is as much as it can uh, go. It can close up. And at this point, when it's actually all close together, it's quite thick and heavy, and this is true. The tablet itself is much lighter, but it, it really feels so nice. And also the leather cover, I wouldn't probably use it much, but that one also feels nice in the hand. So materials are a big, thumb, big thumbs up for me. Now uh, I'm setting up the account. I did not notice that I had to put six numbers inside of it. Done that, again, you can see how you can actually choose even in the leather cover how much to rotate it. You can choose between those two, um, you know, selection brackets. And then I choose the time zone. For some reason, Italy, searching from, for Italy didn't bring up anything but searching from Rome did bring up Rome, Europe, Italy. But okay, select that. And the way if I skip that, you have to agree with the terms, which is weird. Oh, hello, that's me. Which is weird because usually you don't do that for open source projects, but okay. And then it actually boots up. You can insert the password you just did. Um, you will discover that one, two, three, four, five, six is not actually the password that I usually use on my devices. So don't try it with my accounts and it actually works. Now here I just tried to see if there was any issue like with the monitor or opening up a couple of experiment apps, but to actually know how it performs and give a look to it as a whole, you need to wait until I do a full review. Still. I was also wondering how this worked when docked to the keyboard and how was the trackpad? Because that's a really important point. Like I do have like the Pinebook, which is super nice, but the fact that the trackpad isn't that good really makes it meh overall. And this time the trackpad is really good and I was happy to try it out. The mouse is nice and you can use all of the gestures as well. So I like that. Here you can see that there is the files um, application. You cannot right click, which is weird, but on such a tablet oriented device, it kind of makes sense. I hope there's some way to still do a right click in apps like Chromium. And that was it. So again, I will do a couple, I think even more videos about this, trying it out, reviewing it and setting up stuff. So if you're interested in seeing how it performs to daily tasks, well, just stick to the channel and you'll discover it.